Hey, bet y'all been wondering why I have not updated on my apple cider vinegar or Advil Care or anything like that. And not to just make excuses, but to be honest, I just gave up. Um, if you've watched my other videos about the things that have been going on for me lately, I've been super, super stressed. And apparently, I'm a stress eater. I gain weight when I'm stressed. Um, had some really life-changing events go on. And I know that I shouldn't make excuses, but that's really what happened. I just gave up. I didn't. Uh, I wasn't focused on making videos. I wasn't focused on um, dieting or anything like that. So, fast forward, I gained 30 pounds. I know, shame on me. It's terrible. Uh, but I'm sick of it. And what I did was I have a cousin who gave me some money. She's awesome. I, I didn't ask for it. Um, she just, I don't know, she just, she loves me and she wanted to um, just send me some money. And after thinking about, she just told me to do whatever you want with it. It's just a gift, just use it. So I'm thinking and thinking and my husband and I was like, well, let's share it. Let's, let's or let's just pay a bill, let's pay the light bill or something with it, and um, I thought about even buying some bigger clothes because I'm uncomfortable in, in my clothes and they don't fit right anymore, so after all that, we were really going to get up the next day and just go shopping for clothes, and I was like, and, and he had gained a little bit of weight too at first, and then after that, he got a different job that's a little, really physically demanding, and of course, his skinny butt just dropped right back down to where he was and looking good again, so... Which he always looks good. I don't care what he, what he weighs. He looks great. My husband's really, really hot. Just in case y'all didn't know that, I'm going to let you know. <laughs> um, anyways, so what I did was I took the $500 and I went to CrossFit. We Before we had our daughter three years ago, we were going to CrossFit and I was under 200 pounds. I was like 180 pounds and I looked good. I was excited. I was happy. And right after I got down to 180 found out I was pregnant. Then, of course, I was excited, but at the same time, it's like, dang it, I just finally got healthy, and now I'm going to get fat again. So, I had hovered around 200, and got up to 220, and now I'm at 250, and it's crazy. It's gross. I feel gross. I feel disgusting. I feel uncomfortable. I feel miserable. So, um, I paid for, I asked the instructor, if I make, if I pay this ahead of time, uh, or all at once, can we get a discount or get an extra whatever, so $500 would have paid for three and a half months, um, or like three months and a week and a half or something like that, it, the way it was broke down, so he was like, let me just give you four full months plus this week, so basically I got 17 weeks for $500, which probably sounds expensive to most people, and it is kind of expensive, but the reason why I like it better than going to a regular gym is because it's kind of like having a personal trainer, but for a group of people and because my husband and I get to work together if I go to a regular gym we're just gonna be goofing off we're not gonna do or we might not even know how to use the machines we're not gonna ask we're just wasting money and wasting time um, plus our kids are a big distraction but at CrossFit it's kinda like no BS you get in there you have a certain amount of time to do what you gotta do if you need help they're there to help you they're coaching you they're um, watching you constantly. There's, it's a group, but it's not so big that they can't pay attention. So the instructors are there to make sure you're doing everything right, that you're not going to hurt yourself, and that you're actually benefiting from what you're doing and not just wasting time. And um, it's kind of fast paced. So they tell you what to do, and then they start the timer, and you got to do it as many times as you can. Um, and and everybody can go at their own pace. So to kind of give you an overview of what we did, we started on Thursday. And that day was not too bad. It was like a, a couple's thing or a pair. You could, uh, didn't have to be a couple, but two people had to work together. So what we did to warm up were, uh, it was some bar exercises. I can't remember the exact name of it. It was bar exercises where you just lift the, the, the weight bar um, above your head. And that, and that kind of stretches out and gets your gets you prepared for what's coming up next. So you, we did that for like 12 minutes. We did... It's something snatch. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but um, so we did those and we did some squats with the bar on our back, um, and that was all just like a warm up. After that, there's some machine 
where you row, you sit on it, and you pull back, and it's kind of like you're rowing a boat. So you do that until you get to 16 calories, which sounds like nothing, but it hurts. It's hard to get to 16 calories in one minute. Um, so we did that, and when that person was done, like when I was doing the, the calorie rows, when I get done with it, he would jump on a box, and he had to do that um, a certain amount of times. I think it was like six jumps, and then after that, the kettlebell is a big weight with a round um, handle on it and you hold it like this and you swing it over your head and then down between your legs and you do that nine times and when I got done like if I did the calorie rows he did the box and then I did the kettlebell and then he got on the calorie rows and so we did that as many sets as possible within 16 minutes I believe and that was the workout so the total workouts about 30 minutes um, and you just do as many as you can in the amount of time given to you. So they don't, they, you know, they're not going to tell you, oh, you have to do 10 sets. No, they just, and then, but they do expect you to, like if I did four sets last week, they want me to have five or six this week. Um, and it's always something different. They work out every single part of your body. We went yesterday and um, like we went Thursday and then today is Wednesday. So we took a few days break and we did that on purpose to just get ourselves used to it again. So Tuesday we go and what we did at first was the um, the snatches again, but they only went up to here. So you start, you bend down, and you start at the floor, and you, you bring the bar up to here, and then you put it down. And it was for um, 10 minutes. So on the first one, you did one in one minute. And then on minute two, you do two. On minute three, you do three. And by the end of it, you're supposed to be doing 10 of those in 10 minutes. And it was like called death by, death by something. I don't know. It's kind of scary when you get there and you see that on the board. It's like, oh, today's workout is death. Um, so we did that. And I made it to the 10 in 10 minutes. And then, so if you, if you give up, you're out. You have to wait until the next set. And the next set of things were burpees. Which is like, you get on the ground, do a push-up, and then you have to jump up, and then jump over the bar. And it's crazy. It's really hard, especially for a chunky girl like me, who has no uh, arm strength whatsoever. So, I made that, and it was the same thing. You do one for the first minute, and then you wait. And when it gets to minute two, you do two, and then you have to keep going. Well, I got to six, so I was able to do six in one minute. After that, I felt like I was going to throw up. My ears were hot. My face looked like a cherry. I was, but you know what? I didn't care. And the reason why I didn't care about what everyone else is probably, I mean, no one makes fun of you there. It's a judgment free zone, of course. They're not going to allow anybody to make fun of you. But I didn't feel self conscious because my husband was there cheering me on. My husband was there, like, and plus our, you know, instructors are, it's husband and wife instructor, and they're there to tell you that you're doing a great job or, or to, to correct you if you're doing it the wrong way, but they don't make you feel stupid. They don't make you feel embarrassed. They just show you exactly how to do it until you can get it right. So I was excited that I actually got to six because me not going to the gym in three years, um, six is pretty darn good. But my husband actually got to 12, I believe. So, of course it's your fitness but I'm proud of him I'm glad he did that and then after that we had to run 800 meters so I didn't run the whole way but I ran as much as I could and then I walked and then I ran more when we got to the top of the hill there was another girl with me that was having a tough time running too but so we just went together we were like okay let's let's start running and we motivated each other and then we ran back and then they just write down your time on the board the time it took you to do the run and how many uh, sets of the exercises you got done and so it's kind of that's a motivation in itself because you see your name up there and you want to see those numbers go up the next week it's it's fun to see how you changed over um the the months that you've been there however long it like maybe if i start now and then i want to look at six months from now how how many i can do and i know that it's going to get easier as we go because like i said we used to do this um three days a week and we loved it. We had so much energy. We just felt better. And so that's what I'm doing now. And I think that by paying the four months in advance, I kind of feel like I have to go because it's a lot of money to just lose. Um, and it's something that we like doing. We finally gotten my daughter to where she will sit down with my with her siblings and my other children and just 
sit and not want me constantly. That's a lot of the reason why we didn't go before because we tried going and she would just have a panic attack. She did not want me to go outside and run. She didn't want me to be five steps away from her. But now, um, with the help of technology, tablets, I know that sounds terrible, but sometimes mama needs a break. Um, but giving her a tablet and letting her play with her brothers and sisters has helped so far. The first day she freaked out and cried and screamed until I offered her an ice cream, which is also terrible of me, but whatever, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, and then she calmed down. So, we'll see. We'll see. This is, uh, this double chin right here is gonna go away within the next few months. Just watch and see. Um, gotten everything else in order so somewhat and reduced my stress a lot. And I actually hope that the CrossFit will help me reduce stress so that I'm not, um, so that I can actually sleep. I'll be, I, the first day I slept the whole night and normally I wake up around two or three. I go to bed at maybe 11 and then I get up again at about two or three in the morning and I can't sleep anymore. Even if I lay there, I just can't sleep and I don't get any rest. So, um, so far CrossFit has worn me out and I hope that this will just kind of balance me out and let me sleep, let me get back into a normal, healthy lifestyle. So I'll update you and if you've gone to CrossFit or if you've got any other tips or anything like that, let me know. My back is killing me right now, so I don't like to take medicines. If there's any kind of stretches or anything that I can do to kind of relieve that lower back pain, please comment and let me know. Uh, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the little bell so that you can get updates on videos and I'll be updating a lot more frequently um, now that everything is kind of settled back down for me. So thank you guys for watching.